Kathy Thomas, and joining me today will be the executive chef at Oak Grill in Newport Beach, Mark Johnson. Chef will show us how he prepares his delicious composed salad of roasted carrots, figs, date relish, and luscious burrata cheese. I want to know why is burrata cheese just essential for this recipe? I think the burrata plays such an um, essential part because of the texture that plays off of the crispiness with the baguette. It's easy to smear on there and also the light flavor that it has that matches up with the good saltiness of the prosciutto and the sweetness of the date relish. Delicious. Let's get started. Perfect. All right. The first thing that we want to do is we want to take these beautiful heirloom carrots. We're going to add olive oil. And would you call these baby carrots? Yes. You could get them at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. um, we peel these. Mm -hmm. Next thing, just toss in a little bit of salt, some black pepper. And I like that you left a little portion of the stem yes. at the top. You want it to look like a carrot. Mm -hmm. Single layer, have your oven already preset to about 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. You want to cook these just to al dente but also creating a good char on the carrot. It gives it, it takes the earthiness and brings it up a little bit. And if I was doing this for entertaining at home, could I cook off the carrots in advance? Absolutely, I suggest doing that. That's what we do at the restaurant. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Let's get them in we'll the oven. There. Perfect. While your carrots are cooking, we are gonna be making the date relish. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and julienne these dates up. And these are pitted dates. It makes it a lot easier. And seeing that this is a rustic salad, the cuts don't have to be absolutely perfect. Because dates are... They're, they're hard. They're, they're not easy. The olive oil and the lemon juice keeps them from binding up on one another. We're going to add in some toasted pine nuts. Put them in a pan and just warm them up till you start smelling the natural oils coming mm -hmm. off of them. And we're going to get some fresh cilantro. Seeing that this is a rustic salad, we could keep the pieces a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. And I think the less you cut the herb, the less you start to bruise it. A little bit more olive oil. And is that extra virgin olive oil? It is oil extra effect? virgin olive oil. Okay. Some salt. Black pepper. And what helps bring this all together is the lemon juice mm -hmm. and lemon zest. Cut one half of a lemon, toss it in there. Last thing is just loosely toss this all together. And that's the relish, that's the sweetness, the earthiness, and the cilantro gives it that little bit of unique flavor that brings the dish together. And, and this would be enough for one serving? One serving. Got Absolutely. it. Okay. So now that the carrots are out of the oven, let them cool down mm -hmm. and we'll give them a little bit of a trim, cut them in half. Oh, we're going to get to see how pretty they are on Absolutely. the inside. This salad is a perfect representation of both fall and winter. What I like most about it is how it looks on the plate. We're gonna take our aged balsamic, which we reduce down to a syrup consistency. And the acidity of the balsamic is wonderful with the cheese. Is so we're gonna take our fresh burrata and we are gonna slice half of it. The creamy center mm -hmm. of the young mozzarella, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Everything is just gonna go all together in there. And for the green in the salad, texture, we're going to use baby kale. A little bit of pine nuts. So the dressing to the salad is just lemon juice and olive oil. Very, very simple. And I simple. bet you use really good olive oil. We do. We are going to cut a black mission figs, and this makes the dish pop. So much of the year, figs are not in season. Mm -hmm. Could we substitute something like dried fig? You could definitely substitute it with the dried fig. Dried cherries. Um, prunes, all would work really, really mm -hmm. well with this. We're going to toss everything very delicately together. And the way I instruct the cooks to put this together in our chef's at Oak Grill is just to let it naturally fall mm -hmm. organically. Mm -hmm. I think when we start to place it, it looks too um, composed. So the date relish is the sweetness to mm -hmm. this dish. And I would just, like everything else, scatter it naturally. For the saltiness, um, we're going to add some La Quarcia prosciutto. Any cured meat will work. 
what's cheese and meat without a little bit of a crustini on the side? You have to have that crunch. You have to have that you crunch. You just have to have that crunch. And there you are. Chef, it makes me drool. Wonderful. It's so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. And it's a lot of my very favorite things right. on the same plate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Here's a quick tip from Melissa's. Brussels sprouts are so very versatile. How about cutting them into skinny ribbons and tossing them with a tasty vinaigrette? Let's use them raw, tossed over sauteed turkey cutlets. I started by dredging these uh, three quarter inch turkey cutlets in a little seasoned flour. I seasoned the flour with a little seasoned salt. And then I cooked them about two and a half minutes per side in a hot skillet. So they've got some nice caramelization. I seasoned them with a little salt and plenty of black pepper. Now let's make that Brussels sprout topping. So we're going to start with the vinaigrette. And I've got about a, a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil here. To that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sherry vinegar, two teaspoons of maple syrup or honey, Give it a little sweetness with all that tartness. And some coarse grain mustard. And I also want to add a little bit, hint of licorice by adding some chopped fresh tarragon. Tiny bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I think we're in vinaigrette heaven here. I'm gonna give it a taste. It's nice, it's not too sweet, but the edge of the vinegar is softened, which is gonna be nice with the vegetal taste of the Brussels sprouts. So, to get them nice and thin, I'm going to use this inexpensive slicer known as a mandolin, but if you want, you can just use a sharp knife. Now in goes the vinaigrette, and I wanna add just enough to just coat the vegetable. And what this does to the rather neutral taste of the turkey is really beautiful because it livens it up with that tart sweetness. So there are our turkey cutlets topped with those Brussels sprouts made into a salad. The fruit and vegetable aisles are filled with so much potential. Try something new. Have an adventure.